After the excitement of a few flakes of snow yesterday, the outlook remains cold but largely dry. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday. You weren't the only one. I was walking around Richmond and a few flakes of snow and I said to my friend, it's snowing! And I know, my daughter, my daughter phone. <laughs> and then when I picked up my daughter from school, the teacher said you should have heard the children <laughs> screaming when they went out of playtime, <laughs> just screaming, it's snowing! <laughs> uh, I mean, it barely settled where we were, but actually <laughs> large parts of the southeast of England so at the moment, it is cold, and that is the big theme of things as we head through the next few days. This cold air that's been moved in, biting and sitting with us, dragging in these easterly winds. Milder conditions briefly arrive later on this working week, but cold weather returns this weekend and temperatures remain below average. So, but adding in the wind, it will feel more like freezing. So how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days? Well, our seven-day outlook is really helpful at the moment. We look at, first of all, across the north. Scotland Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, temperatures at a glance you can see way below average with nighttime frosts, percentage chance of rainfall for the next few days. It is largely dry, turning increasingly cloudy as we head through the week. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Well, yet again, it is temperatures that's our focus. Last week, they were way above average. This week, for the majority, they're way below average, turning much colder again into next week. And percentage chance of rainfall, Cloud thick enough here and there to give the odd flake of snow in the air, but the outlook is largely dry and cold, so make sure you wrap up. For the Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. If, like my daughter, you were extraordinarily excited by the flakes of snow we saw across the southeast of England, well, hearing about the energy bills, they're not the bearer of good news because it is set to be cold, not just for today, for the next few days. Cold, frosty and icy. No weather warnings in force, but it could be very slippy underfoot. The latest satellite and radar shows it's dry first thing, but the risk of some sleet and snow showers down towards the far southwest of England. But for many of us, it is crisp winter sunshine. That's the name of the game. Blue skies, three to five degrees on the thermometer, but the wind chill will make it feel sub-zero.